Please join me in welcoming Jonathan Lopez. Well, thank you, John. Thank you, Joan. Thank you all for coming out tonight. It's wonderful to see such an enthusiastic group. Could we, um, could we dim the lights? There we go. Johannes Vermeer, the master of light, one of the most celebrated of all artists. His sun-filled interiors and his captivating figure studies continue to inspire wonder and fascination even today, more than 300 years after they were painted. Most books on the subject will tell you that no more than 36 works by the artist's hand are known to exist. But contrary to popular belief, Vermeer was actually very prolific. He continued to paint long after his death in 1675. <laughs> and indeed did some of his most interesting, if not necessarily his best work, during the 20th century. <laughs> to introduce the unjustly neglected story of Vermeer's very, very late period, we need, we need to Turn the clock back from the 1600s to May 1945. At the end of World War II, shortly after the liberation of Amsterdam, the Dutch government threw wealthy artist Han von Meijeren into prison as a Nazi collaborator, charging that he had sold a priceless Vermeer to Hermann Goering at the height of the German occupation. In a spectacular turn of events, von Meijer soon broke down and confessed that he himself had painted Goering's Vermeer. The great masterpiece was a phony. While he was at it, von Meijer also mentioned that he had painted a few other paintings including Vermeer's famed Supper at Emmaus, the pride of Rotterdam's Boymans Museum, a painting once hailed by the prominent art historian Abraham Bradius, not merely as a masterpiece, but indeed the masterpiece of Johannes Vermeer of Delft. When the news got out, it made headlines around the world, and the forger became an instant folk hero. In widely reported interviews at the time, von Meijer claimed to be a misunderstood genius who had turned to forgery only late in life and then simply seeking revenge on the critics who had scorned him early in his artistic career. Those, by the way, are the first um, few paragraphs of my book. <laughs> Um, the man who made Vermeer.